Example 2 in section 1.3 deals with the multiplication and division properties of square roots. So today we're going to look at what can you do with square roots to simplify problems. Now a little bit of background. Let's say I have the square root of 12. The multiplication property of square roots says that you can split that up into two square roots. For instance, the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. These two things are equal. The reason is because the 3 and the 4, if you times those two together, you get 12. And both numbers are still underneath the square root sign. You can also write the square root of 12 as the square root of 2 times the square root of 6. Because again, 2 times 6 is 12, and they're left underneath the square root sign. I could also write it as the square root of 1 times the square root of 12. The multiplication property says that you can take any square root and break them into parts and still keep them equal. So with that background in mind, let's look at a few example problems of what you're going to see on the ACT exam or in some of the exams uh, that are used for college purposes. Let's talk about the square root of 48. And I want you to simplify that. All right, step number one. When you simplify a square root, the first thing that you want to do is find the largest of the perfect squares that I'm underlining that goes into 48. Well, let's think about this. Let's start with 1. 1 obviously goes into 48 because 1 times 48 is 48. 4 goes into 48. 4 times 12. 9 does not. 16 does. 16 times 3 is 48. 25 does not. 36 does not. And we're done because the next one is 49, which is larger than 48. Well, obviously, the largest perfect square that goes into 48 is 16. So therefore, I am going to do step two. I'm going to write the square root of 48 is equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. Remember, we keep all the numbers under the square root symbol. Well, your last step to simplifying is easy. The reason you pick the largest perfect square is because that works out evenly. We all know the square root of 16 is 4, and then the square root of 3 just stays as part of the answer. And that is how you simplify the square root of 48. It is equal to 4 square roots of 3. All right, now let's look at another example. I'm going to erase most of this. Let's go the other way using the multiplication property and see how it can help us. Let's talk about the square root of 2 times the square root of 18. Now, as you saw earlier with the square root of 12, you can break it apart, but you can also put it back together. If I take these two numbers and multiply them, I get the square root of 36, leaving 36 under the square root symbol. Well, that's easy. Square root of 36 is 6, and you're done. You have just simplified the square root of 2 times the square root of 18 is actually the answer, 6. Finally, I want you to do this problem on your own. I would like you to simplify the square root of 78. Actually, sorry, 75. Square root of 75. I would like you to do that one on your own. Please pause the video, and when you're ready, you may resume. Okay, square root of 75. First step, what's the largest perfect square that goes into 75? Obviously, 1 does. 1 times 75. 4 does not. 9 does not. 16 does not go into 75. 25 does. 25 times 3. 36 does not. 49 does not. 64 does not go in evenly. And now I'm done because the next one's bigger than 75. So therefore, my largest perfect square is 25. Therefore, the square root of 75 is equal to the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. 
And finally, the square root of 25 is a perfect square. That number is 5, and we leave the square root of 3 as part of the final answer. And there you go. The square root of 75 is equal to 5 square roots of 3. Please pause the video now, and when you're ready to do the division property, you may begin again. Okay, the division property. If we look at the division property, the division property of square roots says that you can break square roots apart. So, for instance, if I ask you what's the square root of 49 divided by 81, I can break one square root into two. I can rewrite this as the square root of 49 divided by the square root of 81. They're both equal to each other. Both sides are equal. Well, the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 81 is 9. You're done. What I'm circling in red is equal to 7 ninths based on the properties of square roots and using division. Similarly, I'm going to erase my red line here so i got a little bit of room. Similarly, if I ask you, what is the square root of 100 divided by the square root of 2? And I said simplify that. Well, you can also put it back together. So I have two square roots. I'm going to change it into 1. I'm going to change it into the square root of 100 divided by 2. I put it back together. Square root properties say you can do that. Well, now simplifying, 100 divided by 2 is equal to the square root of 50. Now I'm to the multiplication part. Now you've got to go back to the multiplication. We need to simplify the square root of 50. And upon inspection, you're going to see that 25 is the largest perfect square that goes into 50. So I can rewrite this as the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 25 is equal to 5, and I'll leave the square root of 2 there. So what I'm circling in red is equal to what I began with in black, the square root of 100 divided by the square root of 2. Last, I want you to do this one on your own. I'm going to erase a little bit up here. And using what I, the information that I just shared with you about division and square roots, I would like you to do this problem for me. I would like you to do the square root of 147 divided by the square root of 3. Please pause the video at this time and resume when you are ready. This particular problem I'm going to put back together because I see two square roots. I'm going to put it back together and make it 1. The square root of 147 divided by 3. And if I work that out, I see that 147 divided by 3 is 49. And this works out nicely because the square root of 49 is equal to 7. And that is our final answer. What I started with in blue simplifies to 7.